Hey guys, it's Mount Vernon Kid here, back again. How's everybody doing out there? Welcome back. It is uh, time once again to uh, uh, knock you hit with another thought recap slash review of uh, Supergirl. See, I told you, Kara will be back. Um, this episode was uh, pretty interesting indeed um, because of the fact that we got a real, kind of a real established Superman villain, a villain from the Superman lore, Reactron, um, classic character. Um, he looked different in here, but it was cool. I, I liked the look. It was kind of almost a semi S Iron Man S look, kind of, but just a little bit of Doctor Doom mixed in there. But it was cool. Um. The main gist of this episode, from my understanding, was more of the fact that, you know, Kara's still trying to find herself. Uh, she's still trying to prove to everybody she is not just second string to her cousin. Who, you know, that's kind of the best way to describe it. You know, even when she finally lets it slip that she is... Superman's cousin, then it becomes, it becomes this, like, backlash of, like, yeah, even though she's the cousin of Superman, she's, she's nowhere in his league, and, and that's really where you, you felt bad for Kara, personally for me, uh, yeah, I really felt bad for her, I'm like, you know, it's not a bad thing, you know, to be related, but she's still, she's, give her a chance, you know, and, Though she's she she's really trying to understand, you know, in terms of that factor, but she she's also trying to, in a sense, a little paranoid that nobody is believing in her anymore, even James Jimmy, you know, because there are times that we've seen in this episode where, when she's dealing with the react on in one fight, she's got the upper hand, and then the next time where uh, Reaction had kidnapped Maxwell Lord, uh, pretty much uh, she was on the receiving end of getting a beat down. And, it, and we get a little glimpse of Clark once again. Was, uh, Clark was heavy in this episode, very heavy because of the situation that was going on. But we get, we get to see before Kara kind of blacks out, she, uh, she sees, you get to see Clark come down and, and uh, kind of, Stand there, looking her up, do a little, and then he flew off. Um, and we we find out why he came, because Jimmy called them, and they touch back on with the the classic watch, and I thought that was really cool. Another nod, a wink, wink, kink, nod, and uh, you know, Kara's upset about it, you know, because you know she didn't want that. You know, she she's looking at it from a point of view which I can understand. Is she's her point of view is like she shouldn't need to call for Clark's help um, if she can't protect this city, you know. And, and I can understand that. However, I'm hoping that doesn't become a major in the whole of the, of the, the series in terms of because, yes, but don't be afraid to ask for help sometimes. Sometimes, yes, even Superman needs help. You know, so I'm hoping they, they they don't play up that too much. Um, the the interact the the scenes with um, Reactron were really good, and I did like the scene with uh the dance scene with Jimmy and Cat uh Cat <laughs> sorry sorry uh Jimmy and um Jimmy and Kara, and you can actually see that she's she's falling for him, and. I'm not gonna say uh, it hasn't been building. You could see it's been building up. You know, just when he walks in the room, she she gets all glitty eyed and things like that, which I'm cool with. Uh, but when reaction on getting involved again, it, it becomes more. You know, Jim James actually proving that you know Kara can do it, and you know she does get a little help from the DEO once again. And there, the whole DEO aspect of it is like they're looking at it from a point of view of like. We don't deal with, we don't deal with human threats. We just deal with alien threats. I'm like, what kind of, what kind of agency are you guys? Like it, it doesn't matter if they're alien or not. If they're a threat to humanity, 
then you deal with it. Like, and we get to see once again the red eyes from Director Henshaw, and it's like, where is this going? That's another thing I'm really interested in is, where is the red eyes going? Are they proving that he's not human? Uh, but um, the one thing I also loved, and it really kind of uh, almost got this geek misty-eyed, because I love when they do relationships, like the relationship between uh, cousins is where afterwards uh, Clark texts her and tells her, you know, you did good. You know, you did something I could never do. You defeated Reactron. And, you know, that meant the world to Kara. You know, that was something I really enjoyed. That that nearly got me misty-eyed. I love that scene. That scene was really, I was like, oh, that's so cool. You know, it's just like, oh, that's so great. It, you know, cousin acknowledging you know, and hey, what's family for? I love that fat last line. What a family, what's family for? I, you know, it just, it truly showcases, you know, that, yeah. Once again, Clark believes in her. And she's got to believe in herself as well. And this kind of what this episode kind of proved as well. It's like, not only do you, you have to believe in yourself as well in terms of, can you do it? Why are you doing this? Um... Cat Grant didn't come off as much as a, you know what, as much in this, but you can, uh, I love how Alex basically said that Cat uh, kind of respects her, even though she wrote this horrible kind of mean article on her, but uh, it, it it is what it is. It was a good episode indeed, um, and then of course the bombshell dropped between, we got to see Lois's uh sister coming to the factor and uh she knows jimmy and i know the details of what they're doing with lucy lane um uh lucy lane yeah i think yeah lucy uh I, they they basically saying that uh jimmy and her were she's actually jimmy's uh ex-fiance so um, we're, we're gonna see what goes on between them but um this is a good episode guys Nothing really to harp about, you know, like I said, the, the moments, you know, I was, the moment, especially that moment with the, the texting between, you know, uh, between the, uh, the cousins was great. That, that got me, I'm, I, I kid you not guys, I swear on my mother's grave, um, that, that nearly got me misty eyed. I was like, oh, that's so sweet. It's great. Um, and I can't, I, and one thing I also got to admit, Miss Bionis, you can strike the pose. I love when she strikes her, her, her pose, like when she stands there and just her fists are clenched, but she just stands there in the Supergirl pose. I'm like, there you go. I'm, I'm always, I'm just rooting for you. There you go. It, it was, it was good stuff. Uh, but other than that, guys, um, you tell me what you think. Uh, what did you think about this episode? Uh, this is what the fifth episode, third uh, fourth, um, correct me on that one, guys. But other than that, I will see you guys next week with the next episode. As always, this is Mom Running Kid. Peace, one love. Stay tuned, keep real, guys. I'm out. Bye, guys.